guys what's going on welcome back to the channel and as you see we are doing a royal rumble of course that's what we do here and as you see by the ring we are doing an all women's royal rumble now i've actually got a superstar that i'm going to be controlling that is not an actual superstar in the wwe or never has been so, and that's the only one that is that is not a current or former wrestler. Uh, we've got a lot of surprises here. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you like this type of, of play. Because I certainly do. And as you see, here comes Alexa Bliss. Number one, not a, not a great spot to have to come out to. But if anybody can do it, Alexa Bliss can. So... Yeah, I thought this would be cool to do. I've been doing a lot of Royal Rumbles, and I'm, I really enjoy these. These are a lot of fun. They're kind of, I I just hit record. I have no idea who's coming out when. Can you say that again? It's kind of funny. I don't know if you just heard that or not, but whenever I said this young lady's first name and everything, there was, uh, we have something in our living room that, that if you say something, that uh, it will ask you questions and all of a sudden this thing behind me said can you say that again please so anyway uh here comes stephanie mcmahon i thought i'd put stephanie in here as well to see how she can do and she's coming in at two not a very good spot at all for her um but we'll see she looks very confident coming down the ring so we'll see what happens yeah i thought this would be fun uh, I downloaded, there's a lot of these wrestlers that have been just downloaded uh, that the, that were, have been created by different content creators and amazing job on some of these, some of these women. A lot of these wrestlers look almost identical to what they look like in real life. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to get this match started with Alexa Bliss and Stephanie McMahon uh, to see what, um, where we go. And like I said, this is all random. It's I, I do it one and done. We just, however the match happens, whoever gets eliminated, we just go from there. And and here we go. It's every, I think it's every 30 seconds a new superstar comes in. And surprising, and, well, not really surprising, but Alexa Bliss has started out doing some good things against Stephanie McMahon. Okay, let's see who's coming in at three. Okay, wow, Stephanie's putting the boot to her. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, ladies, y'all may be in trouble here. Here comes China, uh, the ninth wonder of the world. And like I said, we've got some of these ladies that are from the from the Attitude Era that's in this match as well. Yeah, I just don't, no offense to Alexa Bliss, I just don't see her being able to put China down that quick. Just honest between us. <laughs> Um, I know that she's coming in at three, but I believe that China would have the advantage against anybody in this, in this particular rumble. Oh my gosh, here comes Rhea Ripley. Wow. Man, how cool would it be to be able to see Rhea Ripley against China? You want to talk about two powerhouses and here we go. I love it. Absolutely love it. Come on, Rhea. I think Rhea is one of the best women wrestlers in the business to date and you know what not even just a woman she is i think she's one of the best workers in the wwe right now i really believe that and i think she has a massive future ahead of her she's going to do some great things here comes natalia Nightheart. love to see her in the ring and what i like about natalia she comes in and she's got the she's got the heart foundation look about her her the, the pink and, and black, I love that. Of course, that's Jim Neidhart's, Jim the Anvil Neidhart's uh, daughter. Pretty cool. But yeah, I believe Rhea has got a, her future is bright. And I hope as far as if she continues doing what she's doing, no, no injuries. Well, you know what I mean when I say no injuries. I'm hoping that she's able to stay healthy uh, because she has an amazing career. Here comes Luna Vachon. If you want to talk about some, some old school classic uh divas this is one of the look at her wow that looks really cool 
remember her from back in the 80s and the 90s, um, showing my age a little bit with one of the classic divas right here. And we've got some more women from the, the golden era, I guess you would say, coming in here in a bit. Looking forward to seeing them in the, in the ring as well. All right, where are we at? Uh-oh. Here comes Becky. Oh, and Stephanie McMahon is the first one eliminated. Luna Vachon put her out. And here comes Becky Lynch. We've got some, some amazing superstars in there right now. Now, I have to say, I love Rhea. I think Rhea is a superstar. But Becky Lynch, to me, is one of the absolute best. Again, not only am, am I talking about in, in women's wrestling, but the WWE in a whole. She is, oh, here comes Trish. You want to talk about some classic, classic superstars here. Here comes another one. Wow, we've got some really big names in this. I love it. Yeah, I believe Becky is just got eliminated. Wow, I was not expecting that. That's what I get. Well, Natalia's gone too, and I've just been talking Becky up, and as soon as I do, she gets eliminated. Uh-oh. See those little stars up there in the corner? That means my superstars. China's gone. Wow. Was not expecting that. Well, here comes the one that I picked, Gina Carano. Gina Carano, former MMA star, and I thought that I would be Gina because I like Gina, and and I just and actually we have Gina's autograph, so I thought she was pretty cool. Of course, she was in the Mandalorian. I don't know, and I would have all oh Alexa Bliss is gone. I would have always liked to have seen Gina in the in the WWE to see how well she could have done. Oh, she just eliminated Rhea. Sweet. And I'm hoping that I can do her some justice here. Now we're talking some old school. I've got Wendy Richter is coming in. Now, Wendy was in WrestleMania 1. Okay, so if that tells you anything, one of the classic old school wrestlers right here. And she was awesome. Oh, gosh. There goes Gina with another elimination. What's cool is Gina was um, Gina was also on American Gladiators for a little while, which was pretty cool. She was, I think her record was, she finished with an MMA record of eight and one. Oh, and she just got DDT'd there by Luna Vachon. Her only loss come against uh, Cyborg. And come to find out afterwards, Cyborg had, um, they had found out that she had used uh, PEDs before her match. So, so yeah, I think Gina Carano could have been a force. And I think she would have been perfect in the WWE. And, well, who knows? You never know it. You never know how that um, a, a person that's been in, like, the UFC could transfer into the WWE. Because, again, it's such a difference. I'm not trying to trying to say that they're the same by no means. I mean... I mean, you have people like Brock, of course, that, that done both, but it's not like that Brock is such an interesting character, I guess you would say, to say the least. So he's he's an exception to just about every rule, to be honest with you. But, man, we've got some – let's see who we got here. We've got Gina Carano and Luna Vachon, uh, Wendy Richter, Mickey James, and Shayna Baszler in the ring right now. And right, here comes Nikki Bella. Of the Bella Twins. And since we have Nikki in here, of course, Bria will be in here a little bit later. Oh, big stomp to the gut by by Gina. So I'm, I apologize if I'm just concentrating on Gina right now since I'm actually using her in this match. I've, you can hear the buttons pushing. I'm still, I'm still new at this game. I'm, I'm kind of... I've played wrestling games for years, but I don't know why we're going for a submission here, but hey, why not? Just wear her down a little bit. Easier to throw her off eventually. Now, here comes Nia Jax. Uh, she made her appearance back in the Royal Rumble. Sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, this past weekend. It's pretty cool to see her back. 
she's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Oh no, don't 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 throw me out. Oh gosh, who just got eliminated? Uh, who was that? Heck, I don't even know. I was paying attention to my Oh my gosh, here comes Ronda Rousey. Now this is the woman that that Ronda said that she would have always liked to have fought in the the UFC or her and Gina would have would have been had would have been cool to see in a match together. I think they offered them like a million dollars a piece for a, for a match and that could have been really really good. Whoa, there's there we go. A cool German suplex there by Gina Carano to Ronda. I would have liked to have seen that. Oh, see you, Shayna Baszler. Oh. Oh, there's a kick to the mouth. Here comes Liv Morgan. Oh, take that, Ronda. Who's the baddest now? Gina Carano is not... She's not someone to be messed with. She's not messing around with these WWE women. Let's see. Who else do we have? Oh, boy. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> it was fun to try, but hey, it did not work because no one was home. Oh, am I going to eliminate Rhonda? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> that was weird. That's that's one of the things of you got to hit it just right to eliminate somebody right there. And she just punched me in the head. Oh boy, here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. Another one of the, the best superstars in the business today. Not just talking about in women's wrestling, uh, in the WWE period. Oh, and she's now back. So I think, I, I believe that I've seen that, that actually, if I'm not mistaken, that, um, that, oh, good grief, I just went blank. Oh, Charlotte, or uh, Rhea Ripley challenged her. Uh, she won the, the main event at Royal Rumble. Again, spoiler alert, if you've not seen it, go watch it. It's on Peacock, you can see it. Um, so Rhea Ripley challenged Charlotte Flair to a main event match at WrestleMania. So I really believe that that the Judgment Day has probably has probably ran its course with Rhea. I mean, I think they're going to actually do something smart and turn Rhea back to a a baby face. Uh, and I think she's going to I think she'll end up beating uh Charlotte for the title. And I think they're going to let her have a run. Now, I don't know, they may not. Uh but I'm looking forward to that match. That's going to be a really good match between Charlotte and Rhea. Like I said, two of Oh, get off me, Ronda. Quit it. Don't do that. Ronda beating me like she like I stole her lunch money or something. Goodness gracious. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> push B, Shane. Push B. And I have to say, growing up in the 80s and watching wrestling in the 80s and 90s, and uh, women's wrestling has really come a long way. There's some... There was some really good superstars back in my day, but the the talent has really picked up. These women are so good. Uh, of course, there's it's just like the in the the men's roster. There's some that's better than others, uh, but I'm really excited to see what uh, what the future holds for the women's division. And, oh, Charlotte Flair's been eliminated, and here we go, coming in at 19, ladies and gentlemen. The the OG herself, the fabulous moolah. And there's not a woman in the world as far as wrestlers that don't know who moolah is. Well, there shouldn't be a lot of wrestling fans that don't know who moolah is. But she absolutely revolutionized women's wrestling back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, she was... She was one of the ones that helped train all of the girls... Now here comes one of my favorite, Bailey. Bailey is one of my favorite wrestlers today, bar none. She has such a love for the business, and 
Man, I'll tell you what, she is such a good bad guy. I mean, I don't know if they're going to continue to keep Bailey as a as a, a heel, but buddy, she's good at it. She is really good at it, and I think that's what. Well, I say that, and there goes Bailey. <laughs> Ronda Rousey done eliminated Bailey, and here I was again. That's what I get for talking up about these women. Oh, here comes Sensational Sherry, Sherry Martell. This should be fun. I like seeing Sherry in there. That's cool. Uh, but. Yeah, that's Bailey is is so good and I think that's what's so good about any wrestler. If they can do if they can be a babyface and a heel and do both of them well, I that's just a superstar in the making and oh, here I was trying to eliminate Sister Sherry and it did not work. Oh boy. Come here. Is is that Queen Sherry? Oh, oh gosh. Come on, no, Sherry. Oh, boy, I was trying to eliminate her. Nia Jax is gone. Somebody else was eliminated, too. Who else was that? Oh, Ronda Rousey's gone. Boy, that's good for everybody else. Now, here comes Molly Holly. Another one of those women from the Attitude Era that was always fun to watch. And I just eliminated Charlotte Flair. Oh, no, they're trying to eliminate Moolah, and Moolah is gone. Ah, wow. So now we have Molly Holly, Sensational Sherry, Lita, and Gina Carano in the ring. Now let's see who's coming up next. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with Gina Carano. She's been doing some good stuff. Oh, there goes... Oh, here comes Asuka. Oh, Sensational Sherry is gone. Oh, so who do we have? Asuka, come on, Asuka and Molly Holly is battling right now. And Lita's trying to slap me around a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to last much longer. And Justice, <laughs> just as soon as I said that, Lita kicked me in the face and eliminated me. Well, if it was anybody, it might as well be Lita. Hey, we done some good things. We were in there for quite a while. Oh, that was cool. Lita, what a... Attitude era wrestler she was with, hung out with, um, well, it's kind of cool that she hung out with Edge a lot. And here comes Edge's wife, Beth Phoenix. So, yeah, this should be pretty cool. The Glamazon herself. So, yeah, they're, they, those two, Beth Phoenix and Lita, certainly have had their battles before. Let's see, who do we got coming out? Here comes Vicky Guerrero. Excuse me. Hey, I had to put Vicky in here. Now, you want to talk about... Oh, cool. Oh, what a great... Vicky is wearing heels. <laughs> I love it. Go, Vicky. Look at her walking around. Just taunting everybody. You know, here she is kicking Molly Holly with her heels on. See what she... Oh, what a snap suplex by Vicky. That's great. I love it. Oh, here comes Tori Wilson, another one. Now, there's one that's coming out. I cannot wait to see her that you're going to, I think you're going to enjoy uh, when she does come out. And she's coming out right here at the end. This could be pretty good for her. Whoop. Oh, good grief. What a what a move by uh by Lita. Good grief. I went blank for a second. I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I couldn't think of what her name was. So who who's coming out next? So we got number 27 coming out. Man, this, this rumble is going fast. Here comes Bianca Belair. Boy, you want to talk about a powerhouse. This lady right here is the EST, of course. She's as good as there is. Oh, Vicky's gone. Oh, no. Molly Holly eliminated Vicky. Wow. So who do we have in here now? We have Lita. Why are you not eliminating Beth Phoenix? Perfect opportunity. All you got to do is punch her a few times or kick her in the head. Hmm. I don't know what was going on. Here comes Mae Young. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, this is the woman. Oh, there goes Beth, Beth Phoenix. Here comes the one I was talking about. Look at, look at Mae Young. Mae Young was, well, if you don't know who Mae Young is, she was one of the wrestlers from literally the 30s and 40s and absolute trailblazer. No, don't eliminate Mae Young that quick. Come on, Asuka, don't do this. No, I had a story to tell about Mae Young. Well, okay, so much for Mae Young. That's who I was rooting for. Here comes Bree. But I'll still tell the story about Mae Young. So I don't know if you guys remember or not. Mae Young was actually powerbombed by Bubba Ray Dudley back several years back when she was 77 years old. She was power bombed through a table at 77 years old. If you have not read the story of that, make sure you Google it. It is one of the funniest things that you will ever hear. You need to hear what um, Bubba Ray said about that whole situation. And unbelievable, a woman at 77 years old could take a bump like that. So cool. Speaking of cool, here comes Michelle McCool. Uh, she made her entrance into the... Oh, there goes Asuka. She made her entrance into the into the Royal Rumble other day. Spoiler alert, sorry. So who do we have left here? We have Lita. We have Tori Wilson. We have Brie, Bianca, and Michelle McCool. Okay. Here we go. And we're getting down we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We've got some Oh, there goes there goes Tori. Tori's gone. So we're down to the final four right now. We've got two that I guess you would call old school wrestlers well maybe three i guess you would call brie kind of kind of in between there uh and bianca but if anybody of the new school of the the newer ladies could handle these three it would definitely be bianca belair she is man she's that girl's something else she's so powerful and she's to me i think she is one of those ones that kind of kind of revolutionizes the business right now with her with her massive strength and She's just really good and she's a good worker. And that's what you gotta look for. You gotta look for people that are that are good workers, that that can talk on the mic, and she's really good. So the future is definitely bright for her. There's a big DDT there by by Lita. Oh. Nice move there by Lita. Oh, a Hurricanrana. That was impressive. Lita's doing a lot of good things here. I'll tell you what, I don't know. Lita may be, she may be my new favorite here as far as this match goes. And Uh-oh, is she fixing to eliminate Michelle McCool? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, big elbow to the nose. Oh, big, big backdrop by Bree on the EST. The greatest, the bestest, and whatever else <laughs> you want her to be. She's all of that Bianca is. I don't see, I'll be honest with you, I think it's, her hair amazes me. But it's wild that, that how she can move around in the ring with her hair being as long like that. Now, I've seen ladies that, that actually grab that hair and spin her around with it. Uh, that's definitely what I would do. I would grab her hair and throw her with it, but hey. But I've also seen her, I remember, what was it, last year at WrestleMania, she beat uh, Becky with her hair, left like whelps on her stomach and back and everything. It's pretty cool. So I guess you got your little added weapon there uh, that if you need it, it's like a lariat almost. Oh, big leg drop by Bree. Oh, and Bree just elbowed Michelle in the head. Well, I don't know who's going to win this thing. I thought, thought Bianca was was doing good, and then Lita, and now Bree. So, who knows? Who knows, but this is good stuff right here. It is exciting. Yeah, guys, I love I love playing these different mania, or different events like this right here, the different rumbles, because there's, it's absolutely unlimited. Oh, there goes Michelle McCool. So we are down to the, we are down to the, the final three. And here we go. This is cool. These three right here, I'm pretty impressed to see these three ladies in the ring together. 
But yeah, let me know if you enjoy this type of events. Like I said, there's unlimited potential on who we could put in these rumbles because of the creation of characters that you can that you can download. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I'm, I was looking at it today when I was downloading some of these women, and there are over like 40,000 pages of created superstars that you can download. Unbelievable. Oh, there goes B Bel Air. So we are down to Lita and Brie Bella. Wow. Not really the matchup that I was expecting, but I'll take it. I have to say, I, my money is on Lita. Oh, oh my gosh. And Brie got her, her leg, her knees up just in time. So, yep, I'm cheering for Lita, but who knows? Who knows what could happen? I'm, I should be partial since I am a commentator here. Um, but, uh-oh. That's a cool move. I remember Lita doing that when, when she was actually wrestling. And, buddy, she does not mind going up to the top rope. Oh, that was impressive. So now would be the perfect time to eliminate her. Let's see if that actually happens here. Uh-oh. Could this be it? And that's it. Yes, I told you Lita was my favorite. Wow, congratulations, Lita. Oh, that was awesome. Man, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, oh, Nice. Oh, I love the elimination. Lita won it all. That's awesome. Congratulations, Lita. Yep. Very, very cool. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. I was excited to play it. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We're going to be making a lot more of these events uh, just let me know if you like them, and we're going to keep on making them. Thank you very much for everything you do, and we'll be seeing you soon.